grace and peace to you while many of us are working from home. Here's today's noontime weekday devotional. I wonder how you're doing. How are you feeling? How are you navigating this very strange time that we are experiencing together apart? I wonder what it is that is most difficult for you right now. Is it that the world seems to be shifting underneath our feet on a daily basis? Is it isolation? Is it too much togetherness? Is it worry, fear of the unknown? Is it missing school and friends? Is it having to learn new digital technologies with which we weren't familiar before? What is it that is the most difficult for you right now? I want to invite you to name it. Write it down on a piece of paper. Sometimes in naming those things that are the most difficult for us, it allows us to take a half step back from them and offer them to God. So I invite you, take a piece of paper, write down whatever it is that is most difficult for you right now. Write it down, fold it, put it on your kitchen table perhaps in whatever way we might be able to offer that in prayer to God. As I invite you to hear the first few verses of Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O oh Lord, you know it completely. Would you hold our concerns and our hands together as we offer them to God in prayer. Lord, you know us completely. You know what we think as we think it. You know what it is that is most difficult for us right now and what we most need from you. So we pray, Lord, that you would meet us there. Meet us in our most broken places. Meet us in our frustration. Meet us in our needs. Today, even now, that we might hear from you and feel your presence in new and familiar ways, together and apart. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. And as we offer our concerns to God, may we offer this to one another as well. That may the peace of God be with you and with all of us.